Welcome back to TapTech. You've seen the rumors, you've heard the whispers, but today we are going deep into the belly of the beast. We're talking about the Nikon Z9 Tootha machine Nikon is building to not just compete, but to effectively end the flagship conversation for the next half decade. If you think your current gear is fast, wait until you hear what Nikon has done with the acquisition of Red Digital Cinema. We have spent weeks cross-referencing internal leaks, patent filings, and supply chain reports to bring you the most authentic look at this upcoming Titan. From a sensor that defies current logic to video specs that belong on a Hollywood set, this is the definitive breakdown. Stick around until the very end, because the release date and the red-eye feed price point might. Just change your entire buying strategy for 2026. The Nikon Z9. Change the world by being the first professional. Flagship to kill the mechanical shutter entirely. It was a gamble that paid off, but the competition didn't stay still. Sony and Canon have fired back with global shutters and insane AI-driven tracking. Now, it's Nikon's turn to retaliate. The heart of the Nikon Z9 II is rumored to be a brand new 61.2 megapixel stacked CMO sensor. But don't let the high megapixel count fool you into thinking this is just a landscape camera. This sensor is built for pure, unadulterated speed. We are looking at a readout speed that nearly eliminates rolling shutter artifacts. Even when shooting fast-moving subjects like a hummingbird's wings or a Formula One car at full tilt, this isn't just about resolution, it's about the quality. Of the data being captured, under the hood, the Z9II is expected to debut the Xpeed 8 processor. This isn't just a slight bump in clock speed. This is a dedicated AI computational engine. Nikon has been playing catch-up in the predictive AF game. But the Z9 II aims to leapfrog everyone. Imagine an autofocus system that doesn't just track. An eye, but predicts where a player will move on a soccer pitch based on body orientation and skeletal tracking. This human intent AI is designed to stay locked on a subject even when they disappear behind obstacles or other players. For wildlife photographers, this means the camera can distinguish between a bird's eye and a leaf, even in the thickest. Brush. This is the level of precision we're talking about. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. Nikon's acquisition of Red Digital Cinema. This is where the Z9 II becomes a true industry disruptor. Sources are pointing toward the Z9 to being the first Nikon body to feature native. Deep level, red code, raw integration. We aren't just talking about a firmware patch. We're talking about internal 8000 recording at up to 120 frames per second. With the color science that has made red a staple in cinema, for the first time, a hybrid mirrorless camera could offer the dynamic range in post-production. Flexibility of a $30,000 cinema rig, this effectively turns the Z9 II into a Z cinema. Hybrid. If you're a filmmaker, this is the moment you've been waiting for. The ability to shoot 12-bit raw. Internally, without the need for bulky external recorders, is a game changer for running gun productions. Now, let's look at the body itself. The original Z9 was a tank, but even tanks can be refined. The Z9 II is expected to feature a redesigned thermal management system. High resolution 8K video generates massive amounts of heat, and Nikon is rumored to be implementing a passive active cooling hybrid system that allows for unlimited recording times in almost any environment. The EVF is also getting a massive overhaul we're expecting a 5.76 million old panel. But the real story is the brightness and the refresh rate. Rumors suggest a zero lag 240 hertz refresh rate that will make looking through the viewfinder feel indistinguishable from in. Optical prism. This is crucial for sports photographers who need to feel connected to the moment. The ergonomics are seeing subtle but vital changes too. We're hearing about a new, more tactile joystick and illuminated buttons that are more responsive for those shooting in the dark or with gloves. Connectivity is also getting a pro-grade boost with Wi-Fi 7 support and a dedicated dual USB-C. Set up one for high-speed data transfer and one for dedicated PD power. This means you can tether to a laptop at blistering speeds while keeping the battery topped off simultaneously. A small detail that pro studio photographers have been begging for. 
price and availability are the questions on everyone's mind. Given the massive technology leap in the RED integration, the Z9II is expected to sit at a premium. Reliable insiders suggest a launch price in the neighborhood of $6,499 to $6,999. While that sounds steep, when you consider it replaces both, a flagship stills camera and a cinema camera, the value proposition is actually incredible. As for the date, keep your calendars marked for the first half of 2026. Nikon historically loves to align. Flagship launches with major global sporting events to showcase their speed. And the upcoming Winter Games would be the perfect stage for the Z9 II to make its world debut. You've stayed with us this far, and that tells me you're serious about your gear. The Nikon Z9 II isn't just another camera release. It's Nikon's manifesto. It's a statement that they aren't just back in the game, they're looking to own it. 61 megapixels AI that thinks ahead of you in the DNA of Red Cinema. The Z9 II is shaping up to be the most versatile tool ever created for visual storytellers. Whether you're on the sidelines of a stadium, in the middle of a rainforest, or on a movie set. This camera is being built to handle it all. Thanks for tuning in to TapTech. We've covered a lot today. From the insane sensor specs, to the industry shifting. RED partnership. The Z9II is more than a sequel. It's a revolution. Before you head out, I want to hear from you. Does the 61 megapixel jump make this a must-buy for you, or is the internal red raw the real selling point? Drop your thoughts. In the comments below, I read every single one of them. If you found this deep dive helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to join the TapTech community for more authentic, high-end tech breakdowns. We're going to be tracking every single leak as we get closer to the 2026 launch, and you won't. Want to miss our hands-on coverage? Keep shooting, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one.